there's a universal gesture shared by Buddhists all over the world. Buddhism is a very big family. And it's a gesture very familiar to many other religions. And I'd like to teach everybody how to say hello to Buddhists. And the method is called Palms Together. Catholics do it, Hindus do it, Jains do it, Jews do it, everybody does it. But here's the Buddhist way. Let's put our palms together, no spaces, okay, like so, and not too high, not too low, right here, breastbone, that, slant it out. Now, the purpose of hands together indicates single heart, single mind, no second thought, no third thought. It also means no weapons. You can't pull the weapon with your palms together. So it's single-minded and peaceful. Then we follow with a half bow. It looks like this. I'll do a half bow to all of you. <coughs> Just from the waist, looks like this. Like so. And it's not 90 degrees. And if you do a half bow like that, it indicates less respect. So about like this, Jonathan. And the notion is what? Putting this down, making this lower. Every religion says pride is a sin. Most of the problems in the world come from big me. So when this can Low to honor the wisdom, the Godhead, the, the Buddha in you, then something sacred has happened. So I'd like to, I'll lead, and if anybody would care to join me, let's put our palms together. You can do it sitting, it's fine, no problem. Palms together, lower the head, salute the wisdom in all of us and the earth. Finally, I'm going to invite you to put your feet on the ground, if you would, and identify in ourselves the solid parts, the bones, the muscles, the nails, the hair. Realize that here, in West Bengal, we are connected to every bit of earth on the planet with the solid parts in us. May we use the solid parts in us to bring peace and joy to every living being. Let's contemplate our connection to the earth. Next, let's move to the air element. Realize that we are completely joined through the air. All of our ancestors who have ever lived have breathed this air that is in our lungs right this minute. All of the children that will come share the same air as well as birds, mammals, ghosts and spirits. The air contains us. Let's use our connection to bring peace, justice, and healing to all living beings through the air element. Let's contemplate now that some people say more than 80% of our body is water. Salty water, very much like the ocean. We cannot do without water. We can do without food, but not without water. Let's use the water element in our bodies now to unite, to cleanse, to purify, to heal, to nourish all living beings. Contemplate the water element. Finally, from the sun, we have warmth in our body, 98.6. Too much doesn't do, too little doesn't do. Just that temperature, that warmth brings us alive. When it's gone, we're gone, we cycle again. But let's use that warmth in our hearts now to bring peace and joy to the earth and to all living beings. Water, earth, air, and fire bringing wisdom and compassion to all.